Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary. This is Total War Hei Let's Play. We continue for episode 26 from turn 109 in the spring season of 216. And last time we landed our first army in the north and welcomed by multiple attacks. And we have this garrison which is not that strong, to be honest. We could give it a go, or we can pull back. That's the choices we have here. I actually think pulling back might be a bit too difficult. We might just want to fight these separately and pick off the garrison with our generals a bit later. And then get ourselves the beachhead. John Face Army might attack us. Zanba's former faction, Dong's faction might attack us. But if we can hold it here, you'll get a lot easier from here on out. All right, we're going to be using our general quite a bit. I think... Put a tower here. That's pretty much it. He's willing to duel, but I don't think that's the efficient use of our general here. Uh, I mean, we'll do it, but we'll be initiating it. Uh, he has a nice little boost where we're not going to hit him. When that wears off, we're going to try to hit him with this. Oh, he routes from that. Perfect. He had sub-50 morale to begin with. Then it's over. Alright, no point to lose any health whatsoever. Chase that around. Get their general a couple times. How is he not army loss? He is. Okay. That minus 50 morale made short work of the Sentinel, which I think has like 45, 42 ish morale to start with. Now I think we want to drag out the garrison in this case like this. Get a fight and then do night battle with the garrisons alone for a fight. Get our trebuchets to do as much damage as possible to their units with all the ammo. Generals try to do as much damage as possible. There's no spear unit in that entire garrison. So we should be able to abuse that. Wait. Behind us? Uh, okay. Not quite what we were expecting, but it's going to work out all the same.
I mean, they have no spear. That's that's their thing. Too bad we're out of ammo already. on this guy on the side get into the fights better that way Just stay on that come back We should try to chase because whatever is still alive we have to kill in the next fight anyways. Actually I think it's fine. We can beat them in the next fight without too much of a problem. We're not going to delegate. We need to keep as many of our units alive as possible. It's probably going to be her soloing this camp. Wait, why is he under attack? Oh, he's not. Okay. And just quickly chain route these. Okay, quick fight. Yep, we can chain route these. Perfect. One of our units was definitely in range. That thing was shooting at someone. We didn't move our units, but I guess the standard deployment had our unit in range somewhere. We lost 23. That's actually pretty bad. Yuan Tan faction destroyed. That's really good. And we are going to garlic up the army. And you're going to pick up this. You're going to pick up this. We don't have a forge here, so we don't actually have really high replenishment rate. But with the faction wide bonus and those items, we're definitely going to be fine. Leveling up doesn't really help because the retinue is going to have to start from nothing. But we can definitely improve the quality of those units. Oh, he escaped the wrong way. Never mind. John Fei is not going to come. He, If he escaped back, he would have been able to strike us, but he didn't. Now, to make sure that we don't get sieged, we're going to be right outside of it. Because that army can still choose to be annoying. Alright, they're definitely landing. We need to be right outside, in the forest, 80% ambush rate. And I guess we don't need to help. We can pop into the water here and just... Yeah, 
Are we allowed to... Yeah, let's cross. They need help. And we can offer help here. So we don't need them to come offer help. Even though we're not fully healed. Wait, how much movement do we actually have? Alright, so we'll, we'll stand here and posture. We're not scared of anyone. I don't know if I want to take these paths. I mean, it's going to help the economy for sure, but they are generating these. Uh, I guess they're never going to do much. So we'll, we'll take these and just improve the economy of Loya. Seems to be the new plan. We cannot reach them yet, but just a matter of time. We're going to march back. We start taking out the Han territories. Zhou Yu is the administrator here. Didn't expect to meet him. Alright, we want it at least to a small city with walls, and then we can do our forge. We can do our inn. Can do research rate. Alright, the south should be pretty easy with these three armies. We do have the backup now. Wow, we caught all three. We kill all three. I guess we'll get recovery. Got reach. Now, I don't know if the combined arm of these two can take this, given the army's not super healthy. But we're going to try. Worst thing that can happen is that we have to back off. All right, three backup generals, one person on assignment. Perfect. We have 3k, which is not a lot, but let's see what we can queue up. Wait, why does Chen have a problem? Just population? Maybe we need to push for... Oh, what we could do is... Drop this. We don't need the money. We have plenty of food. The easy way to take care of our... Public order, except for in Longya, which is also population. Huh. Okay, I mean, we could do that. We could drop our food by 50% and we're still at 69 food. That takes care of any public order. So basically we went, we took control of most of China and then started dropping everyone's taxes. It's literally heaven here. Let's go. Okay, so they're responding heavily to our landing. Two armies, multiple, multiple Imperial units. Good generals plus the garrison. Do we want to, I mean, how could we say no to this? This is the type of fight we live for. Let's do it. This is not going to be easy. I mean, we have a great army. Uh, they could be higher level, but we just got them. We have the sturdy, unbreakable bunch, the best cavalry we could sort of field, and then two siege weapons. All the enemies coming from one direction. Okay.
We don't have any anti-cavalry in this army. That is one concern. We pretty much have to counter charge everything that comes at us. The alternative is we get four of those Guardian of the Land on, on these, on Gondu. Which I guess we could. We're gonna go have to do a lot for this to work. Huh. When it tells us we can't be someone, I really wanna laugh. I mean, we don't have a good spear weapon, that's for sure. We haven't got a gold one yet. Okay. He thinks he can be even strength with us because he has a silver weapon? Give him the boost. Give him the boost. Give him the boost. Look at our stats. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he knows what's gonna happen. Not even close. Do I want to shoot a uh, hell arrow? I think I do. This is decent enough. Heavily armored units, not taking a lot of damage. Want to kill these? Don't want oil arrows to hit us. All right, let's He's gonna die actually. We're gonna kill him with ability. Usually we spare, but with ability usage. Oh, never mind. He got spared before the animation came through. All right, who's next? Use like the deceptively strong dueling general that spares. It's perfect. All right, we got cavalry incoming. Can we get out of here? Not visible. Are they over the hill? Oh, we don't want to bump into that. Are we still on horse? We're still on horse. Whew. Alright, we'll pick off some of the range. I mean, Gondu without is... He doesn't have recovery. So I'm, I'm thinking we, we send him back. We keep these two boys here. They can handle it. Even the enemy cavalry charges us, we'll be fine. Oh, visible. Want your spear? Did you get it from Zhang He He did. The rule. Can I duel him? <laughs> he doesn't want to take on Hemat. Smart man. We do want to kill those. Alright, no one's going to be here to give him a bonus. Which might be a concern. 70% armor. We have double his evasion. And then in a little while we can increase that a bit more. We should be fine. 
We just gotta spam this on cooldown. Keep going, keep going. Help out here. Mm, kinda wanna delay this. How like the enemy is charging our line here. We're definitely losing over there. Or maybe it's even. He's also unbreakable. We have slower attack rate. That's the only thing that's really going to bother us. I mean, it's too late. We can't help him. If he gets taken out, then he gets taken out. It's fine. We'll have two very angry friends. We need to kill these oil arrows first. Don't do too much to us. Yeah, I think we're gonna go down. And that's fine. Yep, we went down. Oh no, still one health. Nope. Now we're officially down. Come on, why are you not feeling as sad as Gondu? This is a competition. Your leader just fell. Oh, didn't see this. Yeah, still not using it. I feel like we should save it for the spirit notes in the back. He's trying to get to the tribuches. Oh, they're moving another cavalry over? Help. Stop this guy! Stop this guy! Ventral is here. I just engage. Preserve the siege weapons for now. Uh, trapped in so many guys. Let me get that guy. Ooh, no, 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 no. Ow. That actually hurts Yosa ass so much. Alright, they routed that one. I think that's the last one. Come here and hit that. Hmm, the lack of spear. We're gonna let them fire. I don't think we have time to just wait. Over pursuit out here. Alright, we're gonna have to send our cavalry out different. Ooh, that is not allowed. That is not allowed. What are we doing? Oh, we killed the killed the group. Let's kill the generals now. Alright, 
Alright. So, I'm gonna send him back. Finish that off. We stay on him. Chase, chase, chase. Alright, meet them. Cavalry, can you peel? Finish that off. Finish that off. Alright, push. Okay, we'll avenge our leader. He's not coming back from negative 77. Are right, you coming back? Chase those crossbow units. Still kill them. Okay, we'll break their infantry. Our infantry is just better. Alright, maybe you can come back. Get the chase on that. You two kill. There we go. Perfect. Alright, we'll get our cavalry onto that cavalry real quick. There's the second wave incoming. Actually, take care of that general. We got on the crossbow, which is good. Get back to the machines. They got dismounted from the machines. Come kill him. I feel like he's done chasing. Get this crossbow. Yep. Alright. They collapsed here. Now we can push deeper and get some flank angles. They can take care of that. Come chase this. Kill him. Nice. We still have Hail of Arrows, and which unit looks juicy, actually? It's hard to get a good shot with them having so much armor on all, all their units. Alright, at least they're staying on top of that. Got that coming in. Fire will. Fire right here. Actually, fired a unit. We're gonna fire through here? No, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. The angle's gonna hit our own units. We're just going to. There's no good angle here. I feel like we're gonna end up hitting a lot of our own units. Maybe this angle, a little bit wider. Why are we charging at them? Alright, we're just gonna hit something. I mean, these Protector Heavens lasting a long time against our Yosia. Not surprised. Alright, you take care of that when I move these guys over. Come help. Stay on that. Stay on that. We did break one unit. Give you guys a bonus. I'm gonna try to kill another crossbow unit. It 
It's not a good place to shoot. Friendly fire all day. Not a lot of good targets. Alright, we finally took out one Protector of Heaven. There are more. Do we have any free units? Okay, let's see. I'm back first. Alright, we're gonna leave the militia alone. Alright, stay on that. Stay on that. Curl back for a flank. Curl back for a flank. I'm gonna need you to switch targets. Kill that now. We need to free up these units. Alright, you take that. You guys swap. Slam. I'm gonna peel you off to fight the ones bouncing back. Alright. No, no, you stay here. Break that guy. Go get him. Who is this? Saber Militia. Come back. It's not a fair trade to occupy one of our units for a Saber Militia. Alright, the cavalry broke that. We can chase here. I can maybe recapture the tower real quick. Alright, we're back to kill him. Siege weapons. Any new good targets coming into range? Not really. This one will. Guess we'll go hit that. We don't need to be anywhere close to that, actually. I think we bounce them back. Let's go. Alright, they bounce back. Now we can walk to it. Should get the surround first. Alright, we got the tower. We're still mobile. Actually, let's use that guy. We can come slam these guys. Alright, one of you go pick that up. Okay, they're gonna bounce back. The others. Go pick up that guy. Kill him. Nothing on that side. Okay, you guys flank. I'll take care of the reinforcements. Slap that down. Charge, 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 charge. We can actually peel back, reform the line, let them gather up a little as well. I don't see any ranged targets. We can peel this back as well. There's one right there, but I think he can take care of that. Alright, we're trying to take some damage there. Alright, they broke. Uh, save the ammo. Finish him, escort him off, reform the line, pick up a target, pick up a target. There's a couple guys that will bounce back, which is no problem. I just want everyone to be a little bit more working. Oh, that's, that's a problem. Oh, but they're here. Gotta kill that first. Can't let them stay like that. Alright, negative 33 is good enough. Let's peel him back. Is that all they have left? I mean, we don't have much left either, but... They don't have- they have three armies, plus the garrison, so... Well, two armies plus a garrison. Three total force. 
And they took out He Yi early on. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna go snipe one guy over there. You chase. Move them back. Move them back. You can stay. We have two shots. First, we're going to wipe the unit, then, we're going to take care of the general. Not the best shot, but it's all right. One more angle. Cavalry rear flank that one. The help is needed here. Our scholar warriors are starting to break. You go for that target. Army loss kicked in. Good. Now we're still in their territory. We need to take Hene first to start healing. But definitely a good fight. Alright, execute, 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 replenishment. Oh, Yanyang's also coming? Oh, he doesn't win this. Yeah. Surprisingly, He Yi's landing is now running into some problems. Didn't expect them to overreact like this. I guess it's the proper reaction when the enemy, you know, lands across the shore. You don't want to give them that beachhead. Oh, we're also getting a round of events. All right, let's look for public order. That way we can raise our taxes again. Not the most essential, I guess. Because taxes doesn't really give us... There's the two, plus the 50% character salary discount, which I guess would be good. We got the spear units. I mean, that should help if we want to go that route, especially in the army that we just fought. Those cavalry are pesky. Unless we can get better cavalry as well, that also helps. I don't think anything actually helps that much. That's the thing. There's another plus two public order. It's only one turn. Let's get it. All right, there's no attack on Dong now. They all left. We're going to attack them. They're over there. So I guess He Yi was the distraction. I guess that's what that's what's happening right now. 
I probably. Uh, why are we not leading? We lose our movement bonus because we're not. Oh, we got knocked out in the fight. That's right. I can back off, which would be a solution. We can pursue the defeated army one by one with night battle and then land over here, perhaps. I'm not sure about the delegate, but we're going to go with that. Alright, the full army is gone then, if we execute all three. That's okay. We just break the siege. That way we get out of the range without losing our movement. The same thing here. And we're going to get into friendly territory. That's the goal. A burn officer. Wow. Wang Gai, it's good as dead here. Alright, we fight our way back. It's not 50, but it's plenty. And if he does fight us, we can retreat back towards this. I'll have them step out. We could consider swapping to these, but the cavalries are very useful too. It's not like cavalries are bad. Unless we want to maybe go Dads of Raiders here. Half unit size cavalry. That's the only downside. Or have them go Yellow Turban. Because we don't really need more damage and they're breaking. That's the problem. Uh, let's keep them. I think they're still useful. Alright, so we, we do have our beachhead over here as well. We're supposed to take that, but given the state of the map, we need to go link up with He Yi first. Uh, so we cannot take part. I think we can win this easily if we fight this. We'll come back to this next time, but once we get this, that entire strip will be ours and we can kind of pull back into Pingyuan where we would have a forge building. And then we can also keep applying pressure over here to Henei with this army so that they might not abandon it entirely to pursue us. Balan's on the run. Lost all his land on this side. He still has the port in Nanha. But that might be all he has if that becomes his capital. That is true. We're going to take some time to pursue his armies. And then they're going to just continue to expand into the Han territory. We don't need these border states anymore because we have conquered everything. We intend to conquer everything down south as well. This is the real question. Can we make a push west with these two armies kind of in bad states? Because we're supposed to fight all the way here and then take a settlement. I think we can do it. Unless there's a fresh stack that shows up. Right, that's what we're worried about. Or else, it's a level 8 settlement. Wow. Only one set of gear. They just ranked it up, but they're going to get full healed. I don't know if we should. We should risk we should risk it, I think. We're gonna march so that we can definitely siege it next turn. 
And then we're hoping there's no army here. Or army coming down from here. And that way we take Wuling. And once we get this and get a forge up, we can defend this. This area doesn't need to, defend, to be defended anymore because this is the only route down. So then we take this, clean this up. Stay One army stay here, and then one army take this. And then hopefully by that time, he will be somewhere close. And hopefully they will be advancing as well. That's kind of the goal at this point. We can finish up this fight here to end our episode. Make another one of these gate passes. Yeah, everything looks good. I mean, there there's a big risk here going for the capital of Shamulko right here. We have Vala on the run, gonna clean him up in the south. We have made our landings. Very difficult. Very painful. I mean, I think even if they chase me, I can fight here and still win. We have good generals, we have unbreakable units. He only has one stack. This got wiped. This is also the weakest stack of the three that we had to face because no Imperial units here. Not that many cavalry in the general quality. It's good, but not as good as the two we just had to deal, uh, deal with. And then we have a third army, or actually technically a fifth army coming up north very soon. And then we can really make a push against this line, the last line before the Emperor seats. And then we quickly wipe off the north, maybe leave one army to wrap up this part so that we don't have any armies sailing across. And then maybe keep two to finish up the Black Mountains. He Yi is probably going to come down, land, fight through Ma Chao's land, go through Han Zhong and take a northern route towards the Kingdom of Sun, while the western forces here will slug along. This will be a slow process, I imagine, because our units and generals are just a little bit weaker, and even though this is a longer distance, I think He Yi might break through a little faster. So we'll see how that goes, and we'll continue here next time. Until then, bye!